Good morning to you. Good afternoon. Good night. If that's the case, it's been chaos here. What should happen? Everything start itself again. The cat have a tantrum. The phone rings now. Even though it's been silent for days, it's been one of those. How are you everyone? I hope you're well. I do apologise. I haven't been around. I have been in the clusterfuck of all clusterfucks in my life in the last couple of days. I have been sick. I have been trying to juggle technology. I did buy a new laptop, as you probably all know, to discover after numerous trials, including an unsuccessful trial from a grand piano, that it's not capable of running a stream, it has major static issues and it has created a huge amount of dramas, particularly because I can barely stream from the one I've got at the moment. So I do apologise to everyone that I have been rearranging streams, I've been doing the very best I can to cope with this and it's been a truly trying situation and we will do the best we can. So I hope you're all well. Today I would like to talk to you about my artwork. I've spent a lot of, day, a lot of time in the last couple of days doing art. There's been a lot else I have been able to do, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to actually show you some of my artwork for the first time. Um, I will start with a little bit of a song, and then we'll go from there. So this is very much what the, it's been feeling like lately. This is Concrete Jungle by The Specials, which is one of my favourite groups. So here we go. I'm not going to hurt tonight, I don't know if I'll be alright, everyone wants to hurt me, baby danger in the city, I have to carry a knife, because these people threaten my life, I can't dress just the way I want to, I'm being chased by the National Front, Concrete jungles, animals after me. Concrete jungle, it ain't safe on the streets. Concrete jungle, got off killed by mates with me. <laughs> Hello, Al, how are you? Um, I won't fight for a cause. Don't want to change the laws Leave me alone, just leave me alone I wanna get out on my own I'm walking home tonight I only walk where there's lots of light In the alleys and the doorways Some throw a bottle right in your face Concrete jungle Animals after me Concrete jungle, it ain't safe on the streets. Concrete jungle, glad I got my mates with me. Boom, boom, ba da da, ba da da da, ba da, ba ba da 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 da. I'm walking home tonight. I only walk where there's lots of light. In the alleys or the doorways. Some throw a bottle right in your face. I won't fight for a cause. I don't want to change the law. Leave me alone, just leave me alone. I wanna get out on my own. Concrete jungle, animals after me. Concrete jungle, it ain't safe on the streets. Concrete jungle, glad I got my mates with me. <laughs> Hello, mates. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you, Al. Good to see you, Val. Al and Val, that rhymes. You know, there's probably a song in there. <laughs> you take your Al and your Val and you have lots of fun. <laughs> I hope you are well. I've gone slightly loopy in the last couple of days, but hey, that's what it's all about. And in true style, I can guarantee everything will go wrong on me in the next 10 minutes, including all technology. So we'll do the very best we can. I have a lot to show you. I've been very, very busy in the last couple of days. So there we go. And there goes my notification now. <laughs> One of those days. So I hope you have all been well. 
so one of the things I am on top of numerous things is I'm also a visual artist. So I've spent the last couple of years, I'm near the tail end of a visual arts degree. So I'm doing a Bachelor of Design. Um, I'm majoring in visual arts and sub-majoring in photography and filmmaking. So that's kind of what I've been doing on top of all of this. And up until now, I've really shown you very little, if any, of my artwork. You've, okay, you've had the same day. And it's like even the cat decided to have a tantrum just before I went live. It's one of those days. And it was like that in the last couple of days. And this morning, I'm like, right, even if it's like a disaster, I'm turning up. <laughs> and um, I was like sitting here all ready to go with this yesterday, <laughs> like 24 hours ago. And it didn't happen. So anyway, let me just read you something quickly. So often when stuff... I think all of us in life, we have stuff we love and then life gets in the way. Sometimes that can be because we're busy. Sometimes it can be trauma. Sometimes it can be because we're wrapped up in something we're enjoying and we're distracted in something else. But life's like that. We can be a bit phasic. So I hadn't drawn for a little while and I'd realized I'd been so busy with this, with YouTube, with getting everything set up that I hadn't actually taken the time out to do a lot of art, which is what it's all about for me. So this is just, um, I, this was Saturday that's just passed <laughs> on my first big tech disaster day. <laughs> um, so art has been missing, been all performance art, preparation and delay. But again, it's time to start. Spark anew, give it form, breathe new life into it again. Add a layer of wisdom, earned with time and tears. Start again find that new form. So what we often do as visual artists is we do what we call brain dumping. So we constantly will have a sketchbook, a visual diary, something like that near us, where we're constantly scribbling little designs. And then when we do bigger work, we do that outside of our sketchbooks. So I have a, um, actually I have a little song just about this. I should actually sing you that as well. Um, actually, I think I've even got it here as a video, which would make it even easier. I got a little bit organized. The, oh, see, things aren't working on me today. See, no, nothing is working on me today. Maybe it's a don't tempt fate. No, I don't have it here. That's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play you a little really short video and then I'm going to get my second camera lined up so I can show you all my artwork properly because I have a feeling this is not going to be good enough. <laughs> and this is just a real basic one and I want to sing you this brain dumping song. So give me a second. Here is a little video for us. I am powered by coffee and inspiration nature's symphony in my ear. From the corner of the eye I find my magic ready for my attention to near, dancing away all along. The universe is a dance, steps like notes, sometimes harmony, sometimes discord, discord. Audible to all through the cacophony, once the mind has lost the battle of distraction. A song, a melody, a beat in the temples, moving to the toes. Follow the music, it knows. So there we go. 
Whoops, there we go. Okay, sorry, I was trying to get my second camera up. Welcome back. Hello, Ross. How are you? I hope you're all well. I hope everything's been good in London. I know it's been a bit of a surreal time <laughs> yeah. um, for you and for other people. It's been a bizarre time on planet Earth. So anyway, on that note, everyone, this is my little, as I was talking about, a lot of visual artists, we spend all of our time dumping ideas. So what you do in your visual diary isn't necessarily finished uh, it's stuff you spend five, ten minutes on. It's little quick ideas. Whenever you get something in your head, you'll get it down on paper quickly and then you may turn that into, you know, bigger work down the line. Um, and that's what a lot of it's all about. So this is a little song on that one. It's based on the star trekking tune, <laughs> So, uh, which you will have heard me sing a few times. So here we go. Brain dumping into my visual diary trying to make sense of my inspiration's intent inspiration soup serving as timing dictates playing with color adding substance to form it's art violet time to serve it dump and record it serve it out now it's art violet time to serve it dump and record it serve it out now <laughs> so there we go Oh, you know, you've had the flu. And I know, Al, you've had car problems, so I hope your car problems have sorted themselves out. And um, it's been a bit like that. Sorry, I'm just trying to bring the second camera in. So, you know what? I'm not going to tempt the fate of the tech gods today because they don't like me. So we're going to do the best we can with what we can. Um, and I might be able to at least turn my second camera on here. So, I, a lot of what we do in here as well are backgrounds and stuff like that that I'll then go and fill in and stuff like that. So, this is some I was working on the other day. This one's hard pastels. So, I work in a huge amount of different mediums. So, this will become something else. But I'll often just, you know, do backgrounds and play with, you more play with blending and colour and stuff like that in your in your visual diaries and then you'll look at stuff afterwards and go okay I'll turn this into something else and I do a huge amount of observational drawing it's probably my preference um, urban sketching though I do do a bit of abstract stuff as well and I am constantly trying to draw my animals now the problem is when you are drawing animals they move <laughs> so sometimes you get a minute or two before they change positions so there's Max's ear <laughs> in charcoal um, how are you, Road? Really, really good to see you. Here's another one. This is water-soluble um, graphite. So what that means, and I love anything that you can aquarelle. And what aquarelle means is I'll show you what I've done here. So this is what I have used, which are one of my many water-soluble graphite ones. So these are the Mars Lumograph ones. I have some better ones as well. My preference are the Derwent ones, but these ones work really well. And what it means to be aquarelle is that you can draw something in any, like any material that's aquarelle. So that's just a bit of graphite. So I could say do a drawing in, in graphite and then I can add a little bit of water to it and it becomes, oh God, please tell me I've got water here. Nope. <laughs> we'll show you that in a minute. Oh my God, everyone, I'm so sorry. It's been such a cluster of a day and I did, I um, did really just want to come and do this stream and not cancel another one on you because life's been like that. So I'm going to do the best I can. On that note, let me sing us a song. And um, I'll try to get this second camera going. So, and I hope you're well too, Road. I know you've been in a bit of the wars too, like the rest of us. You've got a injured foot at the moment. We've all had, um, we've all had a lot of that. So, hello, Jenny. How are you? And I must have, I sensed you were coming in because I went for the Simon and Garfunkel in the list. This is one I don't sing often. But I think we're all kind of having one of those days at the moment. So here we go. I don't remember how this one starts. Okay. Mm. 
No. The universe is not being nice to me today. Let's try another one. Rolling with it. Okay, so this one's for you to start with, Jenny, because why not? And I know there's a lot of you here that really like this one. Celia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you please to come home. Mm -hmm. Celia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you please to come home. Come on home. Making love in the afternoon with Cecilia up in my bedroom. Making love. I got up to wash my face. When I came back to bed, someone's taken my place. Celia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you please to come home. Come on home. Jubilation. She loves me again. I fall on the floor and I'm laughing. Jubilation, she loves me again. I fall on the floor and I'm laughing. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a massive Derwent fan. Like of all of the stuff, I have more Derwent than anything. And with art supplies, there's always entry level and then you get your professional and then your artist grades as well. And when I had to decide which of all of the ones were my favourite, it was definitely Derwent. So I have, probably have about 15 sets of professional Derwent stuff here. I love the ink tents, which I also use to fabric paint with. Um, you can use them very similar to watercolours. I love the graphitin, all the char coloured charcoal. I have a special pencil case just for my derwents I use all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm really anal with my pencils and that's one of the things I love. So I'm a derwent girl. <laughs> so hello, Park. Really good to see you. I hope you're having a good day. Yay, congratulations, Jenny. Well deserved. Well, well, well deserved. So on that note, I'd let me just keep singing. My voice isn't great at the moment. I am not well too. So I'm just going to do the best I can. But I do apologise. I wanted to just come and spend a bit of time with everyone. So here we go. And my plan to show you my artwork is not... Um, the universe seems to have other ideas. But I'll show you a bit more in a second. I hear the train a coming, it's rolling round the bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging on. But that train keeps rolling on down to San Antonio. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno. Just to watch him die. When I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. 
I bet there's rich folks eating in a fancy dining car. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. But I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. But those people keep a moving, and that's what tortures me. Well, if they freed me from this prison, if that railroad train was mine, I bet I'd move out over a little farther down the line. Far from Folsom Prison, that's where I want to stay. And I'll let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away. I am not Johnny Cash. Hello, Drizzy, really good to see you. Hello, no blue lines, really good to see you. I hope you are well. Okay, let me make sure I didn't miss anyone. Perfect, really good to see you all. Okay, I was going, I was trying to show you all my artwork, but it looks like everything's not working today. So, what I also did, hello Purple Moon, really, really good to see you, is I do a lot of sketching of Max. So, this was Max asleep the other day. He's got a particularly square little nose. And what you often do when you do drawings like this is you'll focus on one thing. So, at this point, I was trying to focus on where his lines were. Then I did him in a semi-paint until he moved on me, <laughs> as he does. Um, so this one's charcoal. I love charcoal a lot. I particularly love optical illusion work and stuff like that, which has taken me quite a bit of time. Sorry, I'm struggling to keep these straight. And I was going to have my second camera going to show you this, but everything's not working. So we're just going to do the best we can. Um... Another quick one of Max while he was sleeping curled up next to me. <laughs> In the whole five minutes I had before he moved. So, BGs definitely. But I can tell you my throat is definitely not up to the BGs at the moment. Um, so here's more of the water-soluble um, graphite I was talking about before. Where are we that way? Oh, man, sorry, this is maddening everyone. I do apologise. Um, and I had scans and everything of these to show you too, and we can't access them at the moment because that is the way of technology at the moment. Um, here's some more water-soluble graphite when I was just kind of mucking around with stuff. Don't quite know what it is, <laughs> but that's often the way of these things. Um, so let's just move over to one of the bigger ones. So... I've also, stuff like this, I'll do a big background and then I'll go and fill it in a couple of days later. And there you go, the chickens love Cecilia. So this one's hard pastel. Ah, God, this is, and the camera's in reverse here. So every time I go to adjust, I adjust the wrong way. Um, I will show you all of these properly later with proper lighting and stuff on them as well. There's a few little observational drawings from the other day. So we have a random shot glass that was sitting on the table. We have a very quick drawing of the cat. A cockatoo feather. The lighter that was on the table. <laughs> Which is what a lot of it is for me. Um, this one's one of my favourite mediums. Which is this here. Which is a Swiss... Brian called Caron Dache, and this is, they look like little crayons, but these are actually water-soluble pastels, so I can use them like watercolour, so I can actually draw in them and then turn them into paint, and so the bottom section of this I've done in that, and it comes out looking like paint, so you get these really vibrant colours, and it looks slightly furry, so this whole bottom section here is done in that. And then I've added a heap of ink at the top. So this is just one of my little random drawings from the other day. So, and what a lot of this is about, whenever you're in your visual diary and stuff, it's normally you're experimenting with medium. So you may have got something new and you want to see how it reacts on different papers. You want to see how the colours come out, if they blend properly, if they don't. A lot of the time, 
certain mediums are great, but they don't always blend. So it's like different mediums for different surfaces and stuff like that. So what I use in my observational drawing is usually quite different mediums than what I use in other things. So I love watercolour, but I tend not to do my observational drawing in it and stuff like that. So um, don't fence me in. Oh, that's a good song. Um, so on that note, let me sing us another song because I am, I'm really struggling at the moment, everyone, and I don't know how much breath or energy I have left in me. And I sound like I've, Jeremiah was a bullfrog, was a good friend of mine. Seems like I swallowed him last night and he's joined in the song. <laughs> Is how that one goes. So... Give me a second, I'm going to sing us another song. Okay. Don't know why, but this song was on my mind this morning. So I've learnt when that happens to usually go with it. So here we go, a little bit of Beatles for everyone. Yesterday... All my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. Oh, yesterday came suddenly. Why she had to go? I don't know, she wouldn't say. I said something wrong. Now I long for yesterday. Yesterday. Love was such an easy came to play now I need a place to hide away oh I believe in yesterday why she had to go I don't know she wouldn't say, I said something wrong. Now I long for yesterday. Yesterday, love was such an easy came to play now i need a place to hide away oh i believe in yesterday mm Hello Warlock, hello Stephen, good to see you, I hope you're well today. Okay, let me see, sorry, what was the song you were mentioning? Let me get my glasses. Ah, oh, yeah, slip out the jack flag, make a new plan, stand, oh man, yeah, let me, um, let me, uh, I wouldn't have thought of that in a long time, I do, um, let me see, slip out the back song, <laughs> let's see what, slip out the back jack, there we go, bye, it's Paul Simon's song, and I know someone mentioned this the other day too, and I, um, it's, from the album 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover is the name of the song. <laughs> so there you go. 
Um, uh, so here we go, lyrics. Okay, I will add that one to the list. I'll have a quick practice of it because I haven't sung that one in like a long time. And um, I will definitely be back with that one. It'll go in the uh, ever-expanding Simon and Garfunkel collection. The pro Probably the favourite um, song of mine to sing of um, all of them, and I've probably not a wise move to do it at the moment, is this one. But I'll just tell you, this is my favourite. And it's Paul Simon, not... Um, Oh, really? See, I also lost a year's worth of work on my song list in my transition recently, everyone. So I keep now going to find stuff and going, what do you mean you're not on my list? Um, so let me just... Um, okay, so here we go. This is the one I really love. He's a ball boy, empty as a pocket, empty as a pocket with nothing to lose. Sing to na na, to na 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 na. She's got diamonds on the soles of her shoes. Ta na na, to na 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 na. She's got diamonds on the soles of her shoes. <laughs> That's the one I love singing the most. Um, but anyway, that's not what it's about. We were going to do another song and I got sidetracked. So, let's do something from here. <laughs> so here we go. Here's a song I wrote about karma, which I've never sung before, I don't think. This one is to the day of... Uh, Deo, me say deo, daylight come and me wanna go home, which is by Harry Belafonte. <laughs> Actually, it's one of the ones I play on the piano. It's a fun song. Hello, Dr. Red. Really good to see you. A lot of people know it as the Banana Boat song. <laughs> so here we go. Come, Mr. Tallyman, tally me humanity. Did they grow or did they fail? So, Mr. Tallyman, did they use well? Become better humans or lash out at all? Kama, me say kama. Clear your backlog, rebalance the world. Kama, me say kama. Retribution, you're not, none have that right. Hand it over, let the universe. Outcomes not yours and seldom seen. Kama, me say kama. Do your thing, rebalance the world. Trust it works, go with the flow. <laughs> so there we go. There's a silly little song about karma and how you just need to let it do its thing and it's not yours to delve out. And that's what a lot of people miss in this world. They decide their karmic retribution and no one has that right. They decide their wrath. They decide their a lot of this stuff. That's the standard go-to of all the shit people and the trolls on the planet. And it don't work that way. Because what they also forget is there's two parties. There's someone and there's a victim. And everyone glazes over the victim. Every time someone's an arsehole and they lash out at the world, at someone else, someone has to take that on. Someone's got to get that slap across the face they don't deserve. And this is where things like karma are really needed. So, anyway, I won't go on about karma for a long time because, you know, <laughs> it's obviously something I believe in. Silly games are like silly songs. They keep the fun rolling on. Takes a while to get over yourself. Then all that silliness bursts out. You learn to smile. You learn to laugh. You see, it's all one big fuss. It's all a joke. Have you caught up? Silliness is the cure. 
Silliest play, cultivated to make art, pull the limits away, let the fun out. You once knew how, you can again do something silly and watch how you smile. It's from the inside. And it radiates out, it keeps on going. Creates a better day, like sitting here singing songs for yourself. And we're all having fun today, or trying. But it's crap out there, but we're trying. That's what it's about. <laughs> Hello, Government Watchdog News. Really, really good to see you. Hello, Dr. Red. I hope you are well. Okay, on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. There are a couple of requests that have come in here as well, which are really great ones, Jenny. Follow me by Uncle Cracker. I'm not 100% sure of, so let me just quickly. Because what I do is when people make requests, um, I go and look them up. And then I add them to my song lists. So they will always come back at you. And what I find often, and this is the beauty of requests, is that we have so much music we know, but we don't know the name of the artist or the name of the song. So, so often when someone asks me for a song, it's like, oh, I didn't know what that was called. Brilliant. And like 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. I love, I really like that song. And, um, but it's not one that you think of that name when you think of the song. So hello, hello, Tim. Really good to see you. I hope you were well. I enjoyed your, uh, your sky the other day. It's good to see that it's getting a bit, uh, sunnier there as well at the moment too so hello chevy man really good to see you took my chevy to the levee but the levee was dry good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye singing this will be the day that i die this will be the day that i die <laughs> you can tell my voice isn't there i'm like oh I mean, full, um, but anyway, I was intent not to cancel another stream on you and turn up. So let's pick us one more. Sorry, this is driving me nuts, everyone. And this is what I was trying to fix. And my second laptop cannot run a stream. And I can't tell you how frustrated I am about wasting a week getting everything across, doing all the testing and finding the audio quality, even with my mixer is not worth using. So I do apologize, and it's back to the drawing board, and now I'm now going to have to go and buy another freaking laptop. So on that note, there is not a lot I can do about it, so I do apologize. That is why I haven't been here a lot. I have been um, doing the best I can to get it all moved across and tested and ready to go, and it doesn't appear <laughs> that the universe is going to be much fun for us. So here we go. I'm going to leave us with a madness song, and only madness could sing a love song about the rain. <laughs> so, um, and that's just the way it is. So here we go. Good morning, good morning, morning. So this is The Sun and the Rain by Madness. It's raining again. I'm hearing it pitter patter down. It's wet in the streets. Reflecting the lights and splashing feet. Nowhere to go. And nothing I have to do. Have to do. It's raining again. I follow the Christmas lights downtown, I'm leaving the flow of people walking all around, round and round. I hear the sound of rain falling in my ears, washing away the weariness like tears. I can feel my troubles running down. Disappear into the silent sound Just walking along My clothes are soaked right through to the bone I haven't a doubt That this is what life is all about The sun and the rain Scraps of paper washing down the drain Feel the fear falling on my face I can see there is no better place 
than standing up in the falling down. In so much rain I could almost drown. It's raining again. A crack in the cloud reveals blue sky. I've been feeling so low, 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 low. But now everything is on my side. The sun and the rain. Walk with me, fill my heart again. I hear the sound of rain falling in my ears. Washing away the weariness like tears. I can feel my troubles running down, disappear into the silent sound. I feel the rain falling on my face. I can say there is no better place than standing up in the falling down. In so much rain, I could almost drown. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay, and in true style, I got a computer almost out of... Oh. Okay, everyone. I love you all. I've had a day from hell. I'm really glad I'm here. I'll try to be back later for a better day. I hope you've had a good one. I hope it's improved everything. I do apologize. I haven't been able to show you more art, but everything's fucking up on me, and I'll see you later, everyone. Bye-bye.